चैन दिस इलेवन सेटिंग्स ऑन योर लेटेस्ट सैमसंग गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी फाइव अल्ट्रा और एनी अदर लेटेस्ट सैमसंग एस ट्वेंटी फाइव सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू टॉप मोस्ट यूज और अमेजिंग इलेवन सेटिंग्स यू मस्ट अप्लाई ऑन योर सैमसंग लेटेस्ट सैमसंग एस ट्वेंटी फाइव सीरीज फर्स्ट एडिट द क्विक पैनल इन द लेटेस्ट सैमसंग एस ट्वेंटी फाइव अल्ट्रा और वन यू एस सेवन यू वेन यू स्वाइप राइट साइड यू कैन सी द क्विक सेटिंग टाइल्स ऑन वेन यू स्वाइप फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड यू कैन सी द नोटिफिकेशन ओनली ऑन योर डिवाइस यर यू कैन सी द नोटिफिकेशन ओनली ऑन योर डिवाइस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट बैक द प्रीवियस नोटिफिकेशन साइज वेन यू स्वाइप फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट और राइट यू कैन सी बोथ द नोटिफिकेशन एंड अ क्विक सेटिंग टाइल स्वाइप डाउन द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम द राइट साइड टैप द पेंसिल आईकॉन टैप द पैनल सेटिंग्स यर यू कैन सी बाई डिफॉल्ट सेट द सिपरेट सो सिलेक्ट द टू गेटर नैव यू नोटिफिकेशन एंड कॉल अप क्विक सेटिंग टू गेदर So just swipe down from your top of the screen, and you can see both the quick setting tiles and notification at the same time on your device. Second, lock screen clock style. In the latest S twenty five Ultra, you can see the two new clock style added on your device. So here you can see the lock screen default lock screen clock style on your device. To change it, tap and hold the blank space on home screen. Tap the wallpaper and style at the bottom left corner. Tap the lock screen wallpaper. Tap the lock screen clock style. Now tap on a style. Here you can see the different lock screen clock style on latest Samsung S twenty five Ultra. So select the clock style you want to set. This one, this is the new added clock style on your S twenty five Ultra. You can also show weather, show or hide weather information on clock style. Also show date above the clock. You can enable disable this feature. Also change the clock font and color and tap on a done. After select the clock style. To change the lock screen clock style. Now you can see change lock screen clock style on my S twenty five Ultra. Third, screen resolution. Change the screen resolution. Samsung Galaxy S twenty five Ultra support the full QHD resolution. So make sure set up full screen resolution. To set up, go to settings. Scroll down. Up to display. Tap on display. Again scroll down. Here you can find the screen resolution. Tap on each. By default, set the FHD plus on your device. So select the QHD plus. It includes sharpest visual and most battery usage. So make so tap on apply to set the full QHD plus screen resolution on your S25 Ultra. Fourth, navigation bar. By default, you can see the three button navigation set: recent application, home button, and back button. If you want to use a full screen gesture, open the app drawer on your device. Tap the setting gear icon. Scroll down up to display. Tap on the display. Scroll down until navigation bar. Here you can see the navigation bar. Manage the home, back, and recent button, or use gesture to tap on it. Here you can see the button or swipe gesture. When you select the swipe gesture, you can see remove the three button navigation. No only horizontal pin on the device. Also see more option. Here you can enable back gesture with S Pen or set the gesture sensitivity. to so select the buttons or swipe gesture you want to use on your Samsung S25 Ultra also use circle to search feature to touch and hold the home button or the navigation to so change the navigation bar button setting on your device hi now bar and now free now bar and now free in the latest Samsung S25 Ultra introduce the new now bar feature on your lock screen or a status bar When you unlock your device, you can see now bar feature in the status bar. Just tap on it to access the now bar. You can add the multiple function on your device. Also see the live match score using this now bar feature on your lock screen. You can see live score here on your device. So make sure enable now bar on your device, and you can customize it to enable it. Go to settings on your device. Scroll down up to lock screen and AOD. Tap on it. Here you can find the now bar option. Tap on it. Now here you can see the check the information you need right now and start essential feature without unlocking your phone. So you can see the different option for live notification spot from Google. We already make a video about how to check live match score on lock screen on your S25 Ultra. So check in the link in description and I button on your device. Also you can enable feature like maps, Samsung Health, Interpreter, Clock, Voice Recorder, Samsung Notes, Emergency Sharing. So to go on the option you want to show on your device lock screen like this when you swipe you can see another function if available on your device 
Now you can also see the now brief feature. You can use now brief feature on the home screen. You can tap on it just now brief. Here you can see the good morning message or evening message. You can also see the event you created on your device. Here you can see that you have one event today, 5, 5 p.m. movie. So you can also see event or any other schedule you set on your device using this now brief feature. You can also customize it by go to settings on your device. Now you can direct go to now brief settings. Tap on a content to include. So tap on it. Here you can see the list of types you can show in the now brief. Health, wellness, travel, event and task, digital well-being, gallery story, traffic update, news, music and podcast, YouTube shorts. This is the all available option. Just toggle on or toggle of it. You want to show on a now brief. Just tap on it to show the now brief function all on your detail. Six, suggestion replies. This is one of my best features add in the latest Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra or any other latest Samsung S25 series. Using this new suggestion reply feature, you can automatically see the answer of any chat message or text message on your device. Like if you use WhatsApp or Facebook on someone message you, you can see the suggestion reply. Make sure enable it to enable it, go to settings on your device. Scroll down up to advanced feature. Tap on advanced features. Here you can find the labs option. Tap on it. Now here you can find the suggested replies. Get suggested replies to chat and text message provided by Samsung keyboard. So tap on it and make sure to go on this option to get the AI power suggested reply to chat and text message you receive provided by the Samsung keyboard. So one of my favorite features, make sure to go on it to automatically reply the chat on your device. 7 screen color you can also change the screen color mode by default set the vivid so you can customize it by go to settings on your device scroll down up to display tap on a display again scroll down here you can find the screen vivid screen mode option tap on it now select vivid or natural by default set the vivid or set the vivid here you can see how it looks here you can adjust the white balance color you comfortable with your screen also see the advanced setting tap on it here you can set white balance rgb red green blue or a vividness like this to comfortable or easily reduce eye strain on your device so select or customize this vivid screen mode on your device 8 battery protection you can use this feature to improve the battery life on your samsung galaxy s25 ultra so to change the battery protection setting, open the app drawer on your device, tap the settings app, scroll down up to device care. Here you can find the device care, tap on it, tap on a battery at the top. Now here you can find the ad battery protection, adjust charging behavior to extend the life spam of your battery. So tap on it, here you can see the keeping your battery at a full 100% charge for a long time can reduce the life spam. So choose the option below to protect your battery and make it last longer. So to on it, here you can see the by default share the basic. But here you need to select the adaptive or maximum you want to set on your device. We always use the adaptive battery. Stop charging at the 80% while you are asleep and switch off basic before you wake up. Also select the maximum your battery will stop charging automatically when reach 80%, 85, 90, 95. Select the battery percentage you want to set. Here we select the 85. So we use this feature maximum 85% to improve the battery life and extend the battery life spam on my Samsung S25 Ultra using the latest Samsung device. 9. Auto restart. You can use this automatically restart your Samsung S25 Ultra up within a week or within a 4 to 5 days to improve the uh, background process or any other activity on your device. So make sure set the automatically restart your device within a three days or within a week to set the auto restart open the app drawer on your device tap the settings app now scroll down until you can see the device care again scroll down here you can find the auto optimization option in the performance section so tap on auto optimization now here device care automatically perform optimization to keep your phone running smoothly this include closing background apps and cleaning the memory automatically so you can set this tap on auto restart option here you can see by default turn off so 
two option available restart when needed or restart on schedule so here your phone will restart automatically when performance issue are detected you can use this feature or you can use restart on a schedule so here you need to set the start time or end time to automatically restart your device so we use the restart when needed so it will automatically restart your samsung s25 ultra when any performance related issue occur or any problem occur on your device so very helpful feature to improve your phone performance then side key settings by default set the google gemini on your samsung s25 ultra when you long press the side key it will launch the gemini on device to change this side function swipe down the notification panel from the top tap the setting gear icon at the top right corner now scroll down up to advanced feature tap on advanced feature here you can see the side button option tap on it in the side button you can see the two option double press or a single long press first of all we see the long press option here you can see set the digital assistance by default if you select bixby set the bixby or select the power of menu so when you long press the side key it will show the power menu on your device here you can also find the side button setting that will direct go to side button and second one is the double press tap on it now here you can select the application you want to use by double press the power, power button or side key so select the option you want to select also application here you see the camera open camera record video take portrait take selfie on your camera also select the different option currently this is available option on your device so here we select the samsung notes here you can create open samsung note now when you double tap it you can see open the samsung note like this on my device so you can use this side button setting to quickly access the function or power of menu on your device and the last one 11 is the swipe down for a notification panel from the home screen by default when you swipe down from the notification you can see access the application on your device so if you want to quickly access notification from anywhere from the home screen tap and hold the blank space on home screen tap the setting gear icon at the bottom right scroll down here you can find the option swipe down for a notification panel open the notification panel by swiping down anywhere on the home screen so now go to home screen and swipe down from anywhere and you can see the notification on your device so that this is the all 11 settings you must change on your latest samsung galaxy s20 ultra on any other latest samsung device that's it if you like it share it